I think at the end of everything, when we start thinking about our goals, commitment, patience with our body, giving ourselves time, everything that encompasses that is the idea of believing in yourself, belief. If we don't believe in ourselves, then none of those things are going to affect us in the way that they should. Meaning that you're not going to achieve the results that you are meant to achieve if you don't believe in yourself. You want to live a healthier life? You just have to believe you can do it. That's the missing step. You can do all the exercise in the world, but if you don't believe it, the first time the going gets tough, you're going to stop. Mm -hmm. It's that belief that challenges the voice inside your head. You're in the middle of your yin yoga practice. You're in a pose that's just driving you crazy. And it's that belief that shuts that voice down. And, and it's going to be a long road, but that belief will get you through it. You know, if you truly set out on a journey to change your life, to do something that you've never done before, the belief has to start within your heart because that's what's going to help you get up when you fall down. It's that belief deep down inside the core of your soul that you can do it. And you have to truly believe that. No one else wants to see you make yoga a part of your daily practice. No one else wants to see you live a healthier lifestyle than they're living. Because it makes them think about themselves and what they believe in. You have to shut all that out and just believe in yourself first and foremost. And when you believe, you have to believe in the plan that you set out for yourself. You have to believe in the path and the journey that you have created for yourself. When you have that belief, when you have the focus, the commitment, the patience with yourself, all of these incredible things are going to work together in getting you to become the best version of yourself. All right, friends, we're gonna to begin today in a seated position on your mat, extending your legs forward. Let's go ahead and reach your arms up to the sky, and then exhale, taking a seated head to toe forward fold. And just allowing yourself to connect with your breath. With each exhalation, allowing your forehead to come closer towards the knees. Keeping your feet flexed here so you're feeling a stretch through the calf muscles as well. And just simply breathing. Connecting with your breath. Let's take another inhale. And then exhale, come up to a straight back, reaching the arms up, and then place the hands behind your back. And then lifting up into your reversed upward plank. Squeezing the glutes, lifting the pelvis up to the sky. Slowly come on down. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. And then exhale, hollow out that belly, start to round one vertebra at a time, all the way to the mat. Inhale, reaching over your head, exhale, rolling up, up to seated. And then slowly allowing yourself to release into your forward fold. Inhale, up to straight back. Exhale, hands behind your back, lift up into your reversed upward plank. Squeezing the glutes here, inhale. Exhale, bring yourself back down. Reach both arms up. Exhale, rounding that spine, hollow the belly, take it down one vertebra at a time. Repeat. Exhale, roll up. Inhale, reach. Exhale, forward fold. Beautiful. Inhale, back up. Exhale, hands behind your back, reversed upward plank. Squeeze the glutes. Hold it here, throw your head back. And then slowly releasing the hips back down. Inhale, reach both arms to the sky. Exhale, hollow out that belly, take it down again. Inhale, reach. Exhale, roll up. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, forward fold. Hold it here for two breaths. And then come on up to center. Hands behind your back. And then take that reversed upper plank again. We're almost done here, just warming up the body, getting that heart rate up. Slowly bring yourself back down and then scoot over so you're closer to the front of your mat. Reach the arms forward and then start to take your body down one 
vertebra at a time. Very nice, nice and controlled here. And then once your body is down on the mat, reach the arms over your head. And then bringing both knees into your chest, going into our first exercise, straight and double leg stretch. So first inhale, extending one leg, both arms over your head, exhale in. Other side, and in a double leg and bring it in awesome again single leg exhale in inhale switch exhale in double leg and in keep going single in other side in and double and in very nice keep going make sure you're breathing throughout the whole exercise and in and again double leg stretch Bring it in, and again, single, in. Reach those arms over your head if you can. Double leg stretch, and in, single, other side, double leg stretch, and you're done. Awesome, hands behind your head now. We're going to extend both legs up to the sky, Pilates stand, so heels touching, toes apart. Lift the shoulder blades off your mat and then start to lower the legs and bring it up for one. Inhale, exhale, two. Lower and three. So the challenge here is to lower the legs as far as you can before you start to feel your lower back come off the mat. So for some of you, it might be very small movement. For others, you might be able to lower your legs closer to the ground. Listening to your body here and just breathing. Lower the legs on your inhale. Exhale, bring it in. Pulling that navel into the spine, engaging your core the entire time. Well done. Let's release knees to the chest and then planting the feet onto the mat. Let's release the arms over your head. Just give yourself a quick little stretch and then lifting the pelvis and the hips up to the sky into your bridge position. Making sure that your knees are on top of your ankles. Squeeze those glutes and then bring the arms down. Slowly bring one knee to your chest, release and then switch. Awesome, just transferring the weight from one foot and then to the other. Bringing that knee towards the belly button, but making sure that the hips do not drop. Stay up in that bridge position, engage the glutes. You're almost done. Just keep breathing. Good, and lift that leg up, hold it there now. Extending the leg up to the sky, lift the pelvis even more if you can. Now what you're gonna do here is flex, lower the leg, point and kick. Flex, point and kick. Lots of power in the leg here. Flex and kick. Flex and kick. Staying up with the hips, do not let your glutes dip down. Just work that straight leg. Flex and kick. Flex and kick. Hold it there. And just baby pulses. Two, three, lift, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Hold it there and then releasing the hips all the way down. Go ahead and reach that straight leg and pull it towards the body if you can as you extend the other leg all the way up. Just breathing, pulling that leg towards your forehead and then extending the arms forward. Reaching the arms above your head, clap your hands, and then clap them between the legs. So over your head, and then between the legs. So you're staying in that position in the legs, and moving the upper body slightly, so engaging the core. Touch the hands, over the head, between the legs. Nice and controlled, breathing deeply here. Inhale over your head, Exhale between the legs, over your head, between the legs, over your head, and legs, and again, last time. Beautiful. From here, go ahead and grab that leg, straight single leg switch, go for a one, 
two, three. Breathe in, exhale out. In, out, in, out. Keep breathing, do not hold your breath. Work those legs, keep the legs as straight as possible. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and you're done. Awesome. Bringing both legs in towards your body, planting the feet back down. Let's release into that bridge position again. Stretch out those abs, breathing deeply here. And then once you're ready, alternating the legs, knee to your chest, and then switch for two. Just transferring the weight as the other knee comes close towards your belly button, keeping those hips up high. Bring it in and switch. Nice and controlled here. Stay with the breath, do not hold your breath. Beautiful last time. And then bring that other leg up to the sky, extending the knee and lifting up even higher with your pelvis. Just breathe here, hold, flex your foot. Lower so the knees touch, point and kick up. Flex and point, flex and point. Flex and point. Inhale, exhale. Lots of power, nice high kick with that leg. Keep the hips in the air so you're feeling the engagement in the glutes and your hamstrings, toning the back area of your body. And now let's pulse it. Two, three, four, lift it up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. Slowly go ahead and drop the hips in the back to the mat. Reaching for that leg, pull it towards your body, extending the opposite leg. Quick little stretch for the hamstring here. Inhale. Now when you're ready, as you exhale, you're going to let go of that top leg and then extending both arms in front of you. On your inhalation, you're gonna reach and clap above your head. Exhale, clap between your legs. Over your head, between the legs. Now you don't have to do a physical clap if you don't like to, just simply touch the palms of your hands together. But really focusing on lifting those shoulder blades off your mat as the arms come between your legs. Over your head, between the legs. Over your head, between the legs. You got this, keep going over your head and between, over, between. Awesome, you're almost done, breathe it. Great job, hold it here. Straight single leg switch one more time. Switching one, two, a little faster. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You got 10 more, 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome legs together. Flex your feet and then drop your head all the way down. Let's stretch out those hips in our happy baby posture. Reaching for the outsides of your feet or you can grab your big toes with two peace fingers and then simply pull those knees towards the mat. Breathing deeply, adding a rock here side to side, just warming up the hips here. Letting go of any tension in the legs and the hamstrings. And then extending both legs up. Moving on to our next exercise. From here, you're gonna bend your knees into your chest. Extend the legs as close to the ground. On your way up, crisscross. Two, three, four. Awesome, again. Bend the knees. Inhale, extend away. Exhale, cross, 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 cross. Bend the knees. Inhale as you extend, exhale, cross, 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 cross. Be careful that your lower back does not arch. Let's extend and cross, 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 cross. If you have to extend your legs a little higher above the mat, that's totally fine. Cross it up, two, three, four. Awesome, again, bend the knees. Inhale, exhale, one, two, three, Four, again, bend the knees. Inhale, pushing away. Exhale, cross, 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 cross. Awesome job. Go ahead, bend your knees into your chest. 
And then from here, we're gonna make a little ball position, starting with our rolling like a ball exercise. So come on up to your boat. On your way back, you're gonna roll it and then find your center. So make sure you're rounding the spine as you come back and then engage your core to find your balance. Round and hold, releasing through each vertebra of your spine. Tuck that chin towards your chest as you roll back and center. Roll back and center. Control the movement. Roll back and center. Let's do it one more time. Come back to your boat posture. Drop those shoulders away from the ears. Extending the arms. Let's just hold that position. Breathing deeply here. You're going to interlace your thumbs. Work the obliques as you twist. To one side, other side. Two, twist. Three, twist. Four. If this is getting too challenging, you can bring the feet onto the mat. Otherwise, keep going. Work that waistline. Twist, cross, other side, cross, twist, twist. Keep going. Breathing deeply. Don't stop here. Twisting as far as you can each time you're almost done. Back to center. And then releasing the feet onto the mat. See if you can transition yourself right up to your standing forward fold. So if you need to support yourself with your hands, go ahead. And then once you're up, just walk it out on the spot, bending one knee at a time, keeping your head relaxed, your upper body relaxed. Take a deep breath in, come on up halfway, and then exhale, you're gonna take two steps back into a plank position. Finding your center, pulling the navel into the spine. From this position, all you're gonna do is simply tap one knee to the mat, and then bring yourself up to plank, and then switch. That's all, just tap and tap. Your toes are staying grounded, just bending one knee at a time, making sure the shoulders are staying on top of your wrists. Good, keep going. Tap and tap. Tap and tap. Knee and knee, keep going. Knee, knee. Stay focused, keep pulling the belly button into your spine. Your last one, and then Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, let's open into your upward facing dog. And just taking an extra breath to really feel that stretch through the core. And then bring yourself back up into your downward facing dog. And take this opportunity right now to really enjoy this posture. Breathing deeply, allowing yourself to go a little further with each exhalation. Inhale and exhale. Slowly make your way over to your knees and then sit over into your child's pose. Let's take the hands over to our lower back, giving it a gentle rub. Give your back a little bit of love here just to release any tension. Just see what feels good in this posture. And then once you're ready, slowly come up to seated. Inhale, reaching both arms to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. And again, inhale, reach up. And then exhale, simply releasing your hands down. Thank you so much for joining us today in beautiful Sedona. And congratulations on finishing our Pilates class. I send you love and light. And I look forward to seeing you again. Namaste.